Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to finally take a look at the brand Siate. And I know I've been talking about reviewing this for a while, but a bunch of other videos just keep jumping in right ahead of it. In fact, I had already filmed this video and I'm refilming it now with um, shorter hair before it was long hair when I had the video and I was all ready to put it up. And it's actually just been so long that I just decided to go ahead and refilm it because when I was editing that video, I did notice that I said the same thing over and over with each polish. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of the way now. Um, basically, these polishes are nice. They're fine. They, um, they really didn't give me any formulation issues. However, I do want to say none of them were one coders. So for the price that they are asking you to pay um, on Sephora, for example, I would expect it to have at least as nice a quality as a Zoya, for example. And many Zoyas, you can actually get away with one coat. Um, it just means easier application. It's just um, frustrating to me that these polish brands that are kind of higher end, they are going to charge you so much more money and you're not even getting the same quality as you can get even like drugstore. So if I was going to compare this, um, I think I, I don't even think I'd like this as much as like a Sally Complete Salon manicure. Um, and that's what, like $8? Um, I would say this is more like, it's not even as nice as an Insta-Dry. I'm not even sure where to put it <laughs> because it's just, they're fine. They're just not, I don't think they're worth the price point. However, I found mine at Marshall's. They were clearance there for $4. So I picked up five to go ahead and show you a little sampling of this brand and so that I could see for myself too what this brand was like because this was the first impression for me. So I highly suggest that if you are going to try this brand that you try to find them at a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. They might be at yours too, like they were at mine. So that's all I'm going to say on that. And I'm not going to repeat that part of it again because I think last time I was just saying over and over again, wow, I don't think these are worth the money. I don't think these are worth the money. Well, I've said it now and now you know, so there we go. Oh, and before I go any further, let me tell you what is on my lips. This is a NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. And that's just um, by itself. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first one that I picked up. This is called Guest List. It's just a really deep cream, um, burgundy to wine color. No shimmer in there or anything, just a straight up cream. This is a two coater, so let's see how it swatches. Alright, the next one I picked up, I was happy to see that they had a few bright colors um, in the display. Well, not the display, but you know how Marshalls kind of just puts all their polishes in one big jumble. At least mine does. Um, they had this blue called Holiday Blue. Nice and pretty and bright. To be um, completely honest with you, I said I wasn't going to touch on this again, but there are many more um, nice blues out there for much less the price. So um, yeah, this is just kind of a really standard blue and it's nice that it's bright and creamy, but nothing too special about it. Let's take a look. All right, I picked up this kind of green gray color and it's called Vintage. I thought that this color was super interesting so I wanted to make sure and give it a try. Um, it's just how it looks in the bottle. It's um, creamy, two coats, it's nothing really, it's not really a big deal or anything. But I mean, it is an interesting color so let's see how Vintage swatches. All 
right, so next up I have the only shimmer that I picked up and it's called Espadrille. And it's, um, it's kind of s similar to the color I have on my nails, but as you can see, it's filled with orange and yellow shimmer. So that looks really nice on the nail. I guess this is the most interesting one that I picked up, although color-wise it's probably not my favorite. But um, yeah, this looks nice at two coats, so let's see how it swatches. And then last up I picked up Stiletto and it's this pretty grass green. It's kind of like the blue. It's nice to have a pop of color although I think that I have nicer greens in my collection but the color um, is pretty fun. So yes, this one again is called Stiletto which is an interesting name for this polish. So let's see how it swatches. Okay, so that was my little overview of the Ciate brand. I think a lot of what you're paying for in this bottle of polish is the actual packaging. If you're a person who collects a lot of polish like I do, um, I would just honestly say maybe pick one up for your curiosity's sake, but that's probably all you need. Um, definitely if you like to wear the polish that you collect, then you're probably gonna not ever find yourself reaching for this brand, in my opinion. That is what I have found from my experience with it. So I hope this helped you out if you've been eyeing these up and not really knowing if they were worth putting out the bucks for them. Well, now you know how I feel. And if your opinions seem to match up with mine a lot, you might agree with me on this one too. So I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by and yeah, I'll see you back next time. Have a great day, bye.